Welcome to Logitech T Drive to Win Series Episode 14. My name is Suelio Almeida, professional racing driver and coach and creator of the Motor Racing Checklist. In this video, we will talk about racecraft and battling for position. Fighting for position can be tricky to practice when you don't know what to do. Here you will find some pointers on how to develop the right skills to fight for position properly without losing too much time or making it too easy for the opponent. First rule. But how much? On the racing line, you're on the limit of the track on the outside, then limit of the track on the inside on the apex, then limit of the track on the outside on the exit. When someone tries to overtake you and puts the car on the inside, how much space should you give to them at the apex? One car. That is the baseline. One car from the inside limit is enough for them to do the corner. If you're on the outside, you totally use the outside and then you give one car space on the inside, then you totally use the outside. Expect them to be very close to you, which is totally expected, we're racing, right? Now the opposite. You're going to the inside of the next corner. You put the car on the inside, what should you do before entry? Open up. Be as close to them on the braking zone so you don't sacrifice too much your line. The most common mistake when overtaking on the inside is to give way too much space to them, hurting a lot your racing line. They will be on the outside, and you should be almost scratching their car, giving them only one car space on the outside on entry. Then you should do the apex normally as you have the right to it. And then on the exit, same thing. Accelerate early, allow the car to run quite wide, leaving them one car width of space. No more. Having total trust and connection with your wheel is important when you're making precision inputs like this to leave such a precise amount of space. The G Pro with True Force gives you detailed sensation and keeps you sure of your exact position. This rule of giving one car space works well, especially when you're not 100% sure where they are. A great tip for developing racecraft skills is to do battles with teammates and friends in practice. This way, you can practice fighting for a position both on the outside and on the inside. What about drivers that are on the inside at the apex, getting on power super early and claiming the entire track on exit? Well, that is possible, but only if you carry enough speed that you will clear yourself, which means being totally ahead of the other car, before you get in front of them to avoid contact. If you try to accelerate earlier, but you're still side by side with them, you will go wide and push them off, which is illegal. What is blocking? Blocking is moving in reaction to the other driver's move, especially if you do more than one line change before the corner. If you think the driver intends to try an overtake, you can bring the car to the inside before they even do the move to force them to go to the outside. Remember that if they decide to go on the outside, you can go back a little bit to the outside too to have a better racing line always giving them one car space. What is half defending? Half defending is moving to the middle of the track to disencourage the car behind from doing a move, but still leaving enough space on the extreme inside of a corner. This move generally works with less aggressive and less experienced drivers, but high level competitors will not fall and will keep moving towards the inside to claim it. Racecraft is a vital part of this Drive to Win series. Check out our next episode for Racecraft Part 2, where we go in-depth in vision and anxiety.